It's cold out here, y'all. Look at the babies. They want to kick it with me. All right. Let's see what spirit wants to talk about today. Get your big headed ass. Yeah, I'm creeping. He's always following me. And he's aggressive too. He be well, he be acting like he's aggressive. At first I was scared of his big ass. Now I'll be like, mmm. <laughs> Damn. Fuck that. I couldn't be in this water right now. It's fucking cold. Oops, that popped out. Oops, we got love coming in type of partnership which is justice and it leaves somebody out in the cold who's being left out in the cold clarify we got the star right here oh the star is leaving somebody out in the cold just waiting for the ship their ships to sail in. Oh yeah. Whoever they live leaving out in the cold is way too many burdens. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Somebody could be living with that person. Planted. <laughs> Whoever this person started building seed, like planted their seeds with, like, damn. You see, like they said, I'm taking my shit with me and leaving. <laughs> their their seeds that they planted with them. Oh, somebody's get getting out of the getting the fuck up out of there. Yep. That person's gonna chase you though. That person's mentally unstable. Yeah, that person is not an empress, empress in reverse, and does not have their shit together emotionally. So an empress emotionally unstable? Damn, that's scary. Because, you know, the Empress is the best of the whole deck. You know, that person, that woman, you know, the Empress poses as, you know, a very nurturing, intelligent person. This came out in reverse, too. This person is not, okay, this person's not only emotionally unstable, but this person is uh, mentally unstable. Oh, hell nah. She gonna try to get you raped. She gonna try to fuck with your emotions. Oh, hell no. Just because you don't want her. She's plotting on your death, my nigga. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> she ain't playing. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. I wouldn't be surprised if she says that she's been doing black magic on your ass. She is unstable. That's scary. You might have a child with this person. You might be connected through family, something. Hell, look, there's somebody dead on, under the horse. Oh, shit, she rides horses. She rides horses. <laughs> what if she bust out with a horse, right? <laughs> and just try to trample your ass with the horse. Damn. This bitch crazy. This bitch crazy. Why am I looking at this flower? I don't know what, what this flower signifies. But you see the flower on the on the card? That might mean something to you. She is a high priestess. So she does use she has gifts that she she does use. Yeah, she uses her gifts in order to get what she wants, but in a negative way. Ooh, she a hoe. Look at her, look at her. Look at her naked over there. She a hoe. Ooh, she be fucking with three dicks at the same time. She said, what, what did uh, spiritual say, Sag say? She said, she be doing backflips off her pinky toes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, King of Swords. 
Okay, clarify this King of Swords, please. Oh man, this shit is funny. Yeah, she seemed real nice and stuff, but she she ain't shit. She cutthroat. She dry. Her head in the clouds. She in, she in a whole ass illusion. Like, oh, that's what it was. She thought she was divine, and she found out she was karmic. And that pissed her the fuck off. Because this love right here, she thought that was you or her love. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that got to hurt, man. I mean, I don't know how that feels, but... Damn, if you're karmic and you think you're divine, that's like some really like life-threatening news to you. So she ain't got nothing. She, she don't have nothing to lose. So just know she coming for your ass. Yep. You over here just working. You over here just working. You ain't partying with nobody. Why are you holding up this tower moment? Whoever you know is holding up this tower moment. I don't know why. Because you ain't going to get your Ten of Pentacles if you keep holding it, it, this up. You obviously haven't broken up with this person. The truth came out. The sun came out. Hell no. I'd be scared. You know some people, like, when you're sleeping, some if you find, like, find out, like, water in your ear, that's how people give you brain damage. They drip water in your ear while you, wa water in your ear, because they don't want me to talk, while you sleep. That's brain damage, my nigga. Where you think that water goes? To your brain. Trying to kill a nigga. Oh, shit. She trying to keep you stuck. Yep. See, told you. She using magic on you. She trying to keep you in a stuck position. She's using magic. Okay. What's this judgment? Judgment just came out. Judgment came out. Tell me about this judgment. Communication's coming in quickly. Knight of Swords and Page of Swords came out. Communication coming in quickly clarify this communication with the queen of wands oh this knight of pentacles he wants to bring this queen of wands some type of um offering looks like some type of stability offering since it's the knight of pentacles anything else spirit should we go to another deck one more we're going to another deck. Seven minutes in, man. There's this other tarot reader, unique tarot. She bomb as fuck, man. She be banging on these karmics, right? Because karmics, they watch our shit too, right? They watch our shit too. That's normal. Oh, you guys should see my other deck that I had gotten a while ago. I haven't used it as much on, you know, it's cool, right? Oracle decks. We want to do some oral. Spirit wants you guys to um have some knowledge from the oracle decks. Okay. All right. Oh, it's cold, man. I'll be out here very long. Check your skin. I just thought about that. Look at my hand. She gonna try to burn your ass too. She gonna use you through your kids. Crazy shit. She gonna come. She gonna put an act on like she's this innocent green fairy. She might look like a green fairy. Shit. She gonna come in looking like that. She gonna try to take your soul, nigga. You better get the fuck up out of there. Ain't that right? <laughs> All right. Six ray of devotion. That's what they want you to know about. Okay, let's break it down. Oh, it's cold, man. Six ray of devotion bestows the qualities of persistence, unwavering focus, and intensity of feeling. It is a gift of strength to move mountains or 
uh, with your will for what you love. When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly, okay, I'm getting a message from somebody's grandmother saying she's going to physically show up if you don't wrap this shit up. Somebody's dog may have died. That girl killed your dog, just so you know. Your grandmother's about to shoot. If you see your dogs and they're acting up, you're, they're talking to your grandma. Your grandmother is trying to communicate with you. Sorry, let me let me get back to this. Getting a lot of messages right now. <laughs> she said, run. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but yeah. Your grandmother said, run, nigga, run. Um, she's fi she's physically fucking, like, like, trying to hurt you, kill you. So, um, don't be afraid. Your grandma might just show up. You might see her. So, you know, and, and she's tired. She's fucking tired. She said she's tired of, like, like, cleaning up your debris, cleaning up your shit. So get your shit together so she can rest. Like, your grandma's not resting until you get out of this situation. Dude, and death's coming. Death's coming for the person that's putting all this black magic and crazy shit on you. Like, this person understands that what they're doing is wrong, but they're still doing it. So, like, God said, fuck it. Like, you just die. <laughs> Nigga, that's scary. That got me scary. Anyways, um... When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now, the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles. The archangel Uriel helps you receive the blessing of the sixth ray now. So what your invocation is, I now accept of my own free will the blessing and grace of the sixth ray of devotion and its blessings of will, strength, purpose, and the miraculous power of loving belief. I invite genuine, unconditional love, uh, unconditionally loving, there you go, masters and archangels, in, including Uriel, Christ, Mary Magdalene, and Mother Mary, <coughs> me and all beings. Uh, something. Somebody's calling me. Oh, shit, okay. Your grandmother's saying that if you get calls that nobody's on the other line, that's your grandmother that passed away that is c trying to talk to you. She's connecting to you. It's crazy, right? You get random ass calls and you hear nothing on the other line, that's your grandmother. All right, we're going to end it right here. All right, y'all.